Hi folks, Martin Butler here again. Today's video is going to be about our Cameo Silhouette Cutter, just to show you how useful this cutter can be, as you know, in our t-shirt printing business. I'm going to show you some other things you can do with it as well. Come and have a look. Right, well as you know, this is our Cameo Silhouette Cutter, and we do all of our vinyl graphics on this. Now a lot of people, when buying their first piece of equipment for example, tend to think that they've got to get uh, the biggest and the best to start off with. Well I've had GX24 Roland cutters, very good cutters, but very very expensive cutters, and they're more for sort of bigger vinyl sort of stuff, like sign writing and stuff like that if you're, if you're into that sort of thing. They are very good cutters, but I started off with a, a what they call a Craft Robo from Graftec, and that was just an A4 cutter, and it was more for the hobbyist market, and I had that for about nine years. And then I upgraded to the Cameo Silhouette cutter, which is the one I've just shown you there. I've had that now for probably the past two years. I'm on my second one because they've updated it. I didn't really need to, but um, I did anyway, and I raffled my first one off, and one of my subscribers actually won that. And a lot of people still ask me, well, the Cameo Silhouette Cutter, is it really good enough for T-shirt uh, like work, doing the graphics on T-shirts? Well, the answer for that is a unanimous yes. We've got, uh, as you know, loads of vinyls, uh, graphics that we create on our T-shirts, and you can get them cut to size, and they say, is, is the cutter good enough to do sort of commercial work? Well, yes, it's 100% it's able to cope with uh, the, the work that, that we do, whether it be t-shirt vinyls or whether it be other things as well. You might have an interest in using your cutter to do other work. So we're just going to pop down the road now. My daughter Tracy has just opened up her new shop in our little village and although it's not something we do, that is doing like signs and stuff like that, I decided I'll have a go at doing a few signs and uh, we're going to have a look. We've done her t-shirts as well. So let's go down the shop now and show you what we've actually created. And this is what you could do as well with your vinyl cutter, uh, your Cameo Silhouette. So let's go and have a look. Right, here we are. We just popped down to Tracy's hair salon in our little village. This is Tracy, my daughter, our daughter, Sharon. Say hello, Tracy. Hello, wow, look at you close. <laughs> right, this is your little salon, yeah? Yeah. You've only just started up in here and you needed to create an image because the shop had actually had a different name, didn't it? It did, yeah. And you predominantly do actually both sexes here, didn't you? Unisex, Men, yeah. You, well, called it a unisex, so you didn't have an idea for a design or anything like that, so you knew that I had the uh, the cutter, the cameo cutter, uh -huh. and then you asked me to have a go at doing your, late, your, 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 your sign work, didn't yeah. you? So again, something I've never done before, but um, we give it a go anyway. And, you know, when we normally use the cameo cutter, what are you laughing at, baby? It's so short. I'm, I'm leaning like, forward. Look, yeah, stand yeah. up there, shall I? <laughs> So when we uh, use the Cameo Cutter, we yeah. normally use it on A3 or 12 by 12 size images on the front of a T-shirt. And just to show you what we've actually done, we've done Tracy's graphics on her T-shirts as well. So we get her to give us a twirl, hold on. So we've got the, again, the breast logo there. Give it a spin around, baby. And on the back, and on the back we've actually done her hair lounge with two different fonts there, just to break it up a bit. So, and we've also done her, her, um, apron. her apron, which she wears as well. So we've done that. So that's what you know what we use a cameo cutter for, but we went, we went one step further and we thought we'd have a go at sign making. As I say, I've never done it before. I've done little bits and pieces for little sort of things about that big or whatever, but never on a larger scale. So let's take you out to the front of the shop now and just show you what, what else you could do. Exactly the same with the same cutter, just using a different type of vinyl. This is window vinyl. So let's go and show you that outside the front. Right, well there you go. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but um, that says the hair lounge up there. And that sign was about, I don't know, 65 inches long. And we've done that in black vinyl. And as you can see, it's about probably 12 inches high. And as I say, about five foot long. And all that is done in the actual cameo cutter as well. So it's not a problem doing that sort of stuff if that's what you want to do as well. It's just like sign writing on the side of vans or anything like that. You can actually use it for that as well. But um, let's go inside and show you what else we've done with it. Well, on the window there, as you can see, we've used, again, same thing. This is a smaller sign now, as you can see, but we've done the um, bit of silhouette graphics there. As you can see, you can get these sort of images off a of graphic stock, as we was talking about in my last video. These are just your normal fonts that you find on your PC anyway. We've just done a simple template there and put it on a bit of that uh, 
fiber board or whatever you call it and just stuck it to the window. So that's another thing you can do as well. Coming, coming back in. You're not open today anyway, are you? No. You're having a day off. We've also got this, um, like the, the one that goes outside the door. We had a go at doing that as well. And as you can see, again, a free bit of art we found on the, our graphic stock. And we've just used the, kept to the same font and we've also used the same sort of format there for the graphics on that as well. Now that sign, stand next to that, George. Half of the size of a shorter person. <laughs> yeah, about, about George's height anyway. But we didn't do that in one go, obviously. We cut it up into blocks and we done that bit first, for example. We then done the two silhouettes underneath of the head. We done that in one and then we changed the color just to break it up a bit and uh, put a bit of gold in there as well. So basically, as you can see, you can actually use these Cameo Silhouette for many different applications. So you can just create an old, your own template for as long as you want and providing it's in within the width of 12 inches, for example, that's the width of the Cameo, which is technically a free width, I suppose. You can make the actual vinyl as long as you uh, want. Now, you had a quote, didn't you, for the, mm. the price of uh, the your the sign. For the sign outside, the one we showed you, the big one, which is 60 inches long, roughly, by 12 inches. How much did the company want to have to do the same work with vinyl, which is what we've done here? Just the writing was 200. 200 pounds. I don't know what that is in dollars if you're in the US or euros if you're in Europe. Uh, but 200 pounds is quite a lot of money. And all I done, I went onto our supplier of our vinyl and I said I wanted uh, an external grey because there's many different out external types of vinyls as well. It's not just a matter of buying something cheap on eBay and expecting it to do the job. You want something which has got three, five, seven year life expectancy outside. So depending on the type you've ordered will depend on, on how long it lasts. So this one, I think it was a seven year, five to seven year uh, life expectancy or a guarantee, so to speak, that it will be okay. So I'll pay him once I know that it lasts that long. Shut up, you're like your mother you are. Keep answering me back. <laughs> So what happened is I ordered that seven year, five to seven year lifespan uh, and it comes in a five metre roll and I think we paid, I think just over five pounds for that. So That's what I paid then. No, no, there's money to be earned in that if, you was, if you're interested in doing that sort of stuff. It's not something that I really want to get involved with but I'm just showing you that there's other things and there's money that can be earned. The same sign would have cost from a company 200 pounds to create to buy the materials cost just like say five six pounds something like that so because you need a what they call a, an application tape as well and I'll show you about that in another video but a lot of money to be made and also you've got to learn how to line things up and to put things on a, a lot of large sign for example so yeah different ways you can make money it's not just the clothing you can do like that as you know what we do there you can do signs you can do window graphics all stuff like that with your cameo silhouette cutter so if t-shirts isn't your bag and you haven't got enough money for heat press, why not experiment with just your cutter and your software on your PC? You don't... She's talking on the phone, actually. I'm trying to film. I've got to take a breath All right, we're going to go. We're going to go because it's getting a bit manic in here. I don't know why, but... Anyway, that's just a little thing. Hope you found that one a bit interesting because a lot of people who want to start off in the t-shirt business say, I can't afford the heat press, which is the largest piece of equipment you're going to buy. Something like a Cameo Silhouette Cutter, retails in the UK, probably around £200, and you can actually start a little business doing window stickers and stuff like that, or even custom-made signs and stuff like that, if you're interested in that sort of stuff. Anyway, hope that was a little bit of interest to you, and I'll see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now.